Hi, thank you for joining me today. We've been reading from A Course in Miracles and we are on the workbook lesson number 44, God is the light in which I see. God is the light in which I see. Today we are continuing the idea from yesterday, adding another dimension to, to it. You cannot see in darkness and you cannot make light. You can make darkness and then think you can see in it, but light reflects life and is therefore an aspect of creation. Creation and darkness cannot coexist, but light and life must go together, being but different aspects of creation. In order to see, you must first recognize that light is within, not without. You do not see outside yourself, nor is the equipment for seeing outside you. An essential part of this equipment is the light that makes seeing possible. It is with you always, making vision possible in every circumstance. Today we are going to attempt to reach that light. For this purpose, we will use a form of exercise which has been suggested before and which we will utilize increasingly. It is a particularly difficult form for the undisciplined mind and represents a major goal of mind training. It requires precisely what the untrained mind lacks, yet this training must be accomplished if you are to see. Have at least three practice periods today, each lasting three to five minutes. A longer time is highly recommended, but only if you find the time slipping by with little or no sense of strain. The form of practice we use today is the most natural and easy one in the world for the trained mind, just as it seems to be the most unnatural and difficult for the untrained mind. Your mind is no longer wholly untrained. You are quite ready to learn the form of exercise we will use today, but you may find that you will encounter strong resistance. The reason is very simple. While you practice in this way, you leave behind everything you now believe and all the thoughts that you have made up. Properly speaking, this is the release from hell, yet perceived through the ego's eyes, it's a loss of identity and a descent into hell. If you can stand aside from the ego by ever so little, you will have no difficulty in recognizing that its opposition and its fears are meaningless. You might find it helpful to remind yourself from time to time that to reach light is to escape from darkness, whatever you may believe to the contrary. God is the light in which you see. You are attempting to reach him. Begin the practice period by repeating today's idea with your eyes open. Then close them slowly, repeating the idea several times more. Then try to sink into your mind, letting go every kind of interference and intrusion by quietly sinking past them. Your mind cannot be stopped in this unless you choose to stop it. It is merely taking its natural course. Try to observe your passing thoughts without involvement and slip quietly by them. While no particular approach is advocated for this form of exercise, what is needful is a sense of importance of what you are doing. It is inestimable value. To, it, it's inestimable value and that's, yeah, that's the, that's the word. It's inestimable value to you and an awareness that you are attempting something very holy. Salvation is your happiest accomplishment. It is also the only one that has any meaning because it is the only one that has any real use to you at all. If resistance arises in any form, pause long enough to repeat today's idea keeping your eyes closed until you are aware of fear. Today's idea being, God is the light in which I see. 
In that case, you will probably find it more reassuring to open your eyes briefly. Try, however, to return to the exercises with eyes closed as soon as possible. If you are doing the exercises correctly, you should experience some sense of relaxation and even a feeling that you are approaching, if not actually entering into light. Try to think of light, formless and without limit, as you pass by the thoughts of this world. And do not forget that they cannot hold you to the world unless you give them the power to do so. Throughout the day, repeat the idea often, with eyes open or closed as seems better to you at the time, but do not forget. Above all, be determined not to forget today. So, as you have the experience of truly seeing, things are going to shift for you. And as the lesson indicates, you may experience some resistance. If you want to become what you really are, you must be willing to let go of what you think you are. I hope that you will continue with this work because I know what you are and I would love for you to know what you are. A whole, beautiful, amazing being with a purpose and a mission. So until tomorrow, if you need me, you can reach me at 907-351-3003. I'll do my best to reply. And um, I'll see you anon. Namaste.